Hey golfers, Drew Mahold back with Second Swing Golf at the Minnetonka Tour Van location. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. That's good. Uh, we're looking at Ping Blueprint Irons. These things are very small, almost as thin as a butter knife, clearly meant for some of the best ball strikers on the planet, really. We're going to let you hit a few of these today. They are beautiful to look at, very small. What are your expectations? First impression for me, looking down it, very small club head. Pretty intimidating, to be honest. So mm -hmm. even I'm a relatively decent ball striker, but this is probably going to test me yeah. to my to my limits here today to see, especially when I get to the longer irons. Yeah, well, you know, we'll have you hit a few with each, you know, a pitching wedge, uh, seven iron and four iron here. We'll see how it works out, and um, we'll see too if we can kind of maybe gauge if there's any forgiveness with these. Um, obviously, we're going to get your comments in the field as well. So I'm really excited to see how these uh, how they perform for you. All right, well, let's get after it. Definitely a good looking golf club. Yeah, probably the slimmest, most compact iron that Ping has ever made. Yep, it is quite the compact, compact blade mm -hmm. here. So. so that's the uh, seven iron there, Thomas? Yep, this is the Blueprint seven iron. Felt really good. That's probably what you're going to get with this, uh, with that type of iron from Ping is yeah, that feel, I'm sure. Really nice off the yeah. face, actually. That feels solid. Another one. A blade iron like this. This is almost a straight, you know, butter knife where it's, um, you know, it's more about workability than it is, you know, distance and forgiveness. Correct. This is for the player yep. that wants to control the golf ball. Yep. If they want to fade it 10 yards, they can do that. If they want to draw it 10 yards, they can do that. Yep. And knowing your ability to hit the ball, I'm sure that's kind of what you're looking for in an iron. Yeah, bit. my normal shot is just that slight little draw. I was four in a row where yeah. I'm pretty accurate oh, yeah. right there of what I normally would do. This club is designed to allow you to take some shots. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be the nice advantage that we would have with, with this club yeah. if I wanted to turn it over a little more, if I wanted Absolutely. to maybe hit a little fade into the green, stop the ball a little faster with a little bit more spin. Mm -hmm. So it's going to give me that workability. It actually feels really, really good. It's almost right in the center of the range there. Yeah, those those five swings that's, were really solid right there. Five solid seven iron swings. Yep. Why don't we uh, let's try out the, the pitching wedge here? And uh, what type of numbers you usually get with your pitching wedge there? What kind of carry? Usually carry around about 140. This actually looks pretty good. It honestly looks more like the the ping 210 yeah. iron than okay. more of a blade looking at it with a wedge. So. You will see a lot of um, you know pros and. and better ball strikers do sort of combo sets yep. where they have the shorter, um, you know, scoring clubs or maybe kind of a more blade type. Whereas yep. Yeah, the wedge looks good. Like I said, feels really good. Nice soft feeling off the club face. There we go. A little more solid. Yep. No, oh, pretty good. Around about 140. Yeah. Pretty close numbers. Yeah. Not, that not, type not, of dispersion is, off. you know, that's what someone that's going to be hitting these irons probably is going to be wanting, yep. looking for right there. Um, it yep. looked like, I mean, you're hitting all those right in the center of the face. Like, a, you know, I'm going to reiterate over and over is someone needs to be a very solid caliber ball striker to be using these irons. Um, and clearly, if you're hitting it like that, it's, they're going to work for you. And even like you said, there's the one miss hit there. You can barely even tell on the dispersion that it's a miss hit. Yep. Yeah. No, I would, I would completely agree. Yep. So luckily I was striking it pretty well. Now we get a little bit more of a challenge with <laughs> the, uh, the four iron. Uh, the thing about, so these irons, you know, they're such, they're like, like I said, they're almost a butter knife. Um, you basically but, took the word right out of my mouth. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Guys on tour even, you know, a lot of guys don't even hit these clubs in a 3-4 iron. Yep. You know? Yeah. Can, I can mean. fit in my hands. <laughs> I got pretty small hands. In that. <laughs> For so, uh, yeah. I mean. This will be a challenge. Yeah. So, yeah. That was more solid yeah, at least. That one definitely sounded better. 215 carry, how does that... 
compared to? It's close. I'm around about, I'm about 220 normally okay. with my fluorine. Yeah. That's pretty good too. Oh yeah, that was dynamite. You see, even that miss hit carries it 210 yards, which I think your other one was 215. You know, with a four iron miss hitting it, that's not a very large drop off for a longer iron miss hit for a blade like that. What you'll notice is my dispersion. Yeah. If you all notice, relatively small circle. Yeah, which seven that, iron I hit yeah. really well, and then all of a sudden, yeah. Generally, boom. that's gonna <laughs> it's gonna get larger anyway with longer irons like yep. this. But um, I mean, if we take out that first one, where you're, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's not, not as it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more solid. Wow. I mean, it feels incredible off the club face. It's just very intimidating to look down at when, yeah. I'm, when I'm playing. I know there's definitely a lot of good players out there that yeah. like to look down at a, a small club head, so there's definitely some people that will probably want to go, oh, yeah. go this route. Well, Thomas, you hit five with... Uh, Seven iron, five with a wedge, five with a four iron. Um, you know, it looked like the dispersion was pretty tight overall, despite maybe one four iron shot. It seemed like you really liked the feel. You obviously, a very small club head, you said. What are your, I guess, overall takeaways from hitting the ping blueprint iron? Yes, the feel, very soft feeling. Mm -hmm. Love the feel of the club face. Um, now, looking down at it, you know, present, you know, maybe a little bit of intimidation, mm -hmm. pretty small club head. Pitching wedge, looked pretty good. So pitching wedge kind of looked like the, the 210 essentially. Mm -hmm. um, seven iron, I think I could handle maybe six iron, seven iron through. Be one, you know, some, probably a set that I maybe would be really interested in doing like a combo set with. Sure. Um, but then I got to the four iron, uh, looking down at this thing, you know, just seeing this in my hand right here. <laughs> this is like, this thing is, this is tiny. This is probably the tiniest blade that I've, I've ever really attempted to hit. I hit it pretty good four to five, four to five times. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when I'm, the fact that I was off by about 20 yards on my yardage on a couple of those shots, it's pretty important to me, especially mm -hmm. when I'm hitting yeah. a shot end. I don't want to come up short in the bunker or, you know, miss hit, hook hit, or anything like that. So, you know, I'd probably be leaning against not playing a four iron blade. I'd leave that to probably the one, the best bull strikers <laughs> yeah. in the world. I'm not quite there yet, um, but uh, you know, I could definitely kind of handle it. You know, on my good days when I'm, my bull striking mm -hmm. is on, um, six iron, seven iron through. I'd love to play them. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, golfers out there, uh, if you are one of those players that hits the center of the face seemingly every time, like Thomas here, uh, <laughs> I recommend you give these ping blueprints a try. Um, obviously, like I've said before, they are beautiful to look at, um, razor thin. Uh, so if you're one of those golfers, I'd contact Second Swing, try and get a fitter like Thomas to help you out, um, and hopefully we'll be able to get you your own custom set of ping blueprint irons. Thomas, thanks for joining us today, and thanks for uh, hitting some terrific golf shots for us. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky a couple times. <laughs> uh -huh.